Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. Nizar, uh, you represent the Khalifa Fund from UAE and you are here in Chechnya in Grozny for the forum, Grozny Forum, which is for the first time. Uh, and uh, we saw today that the fund, uh, Sheikh Zayed Fund, which is uh, established by your organization, have financed about 4 million USD in two years. How do you assess these results? Is it uh, good or not good enough? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you for uh, this invitation. Extremely happy, honored today to, to be again and again in Grozny, becoming my second home. Uh, I'm representing Khalifa Fund for Enterprise Development, who is the uh, sister entity of Zaid Fund. Uh, Zaid Fund is uh, uh, having the name of the, the late uh, His Highness Sheikh uh, Zaid bin Sultan, the uh, uh, father of the UAE nation. Uh, and uh, I'm also representing uh, uh, Zaid Fund because I'm also a board member, so um, assessing will be a little bit uh, embarrassing for me because I would like to say that we are doing a great job. The team here is really starting uh, to, to show results and uh, uh, with uh, the close follow-up and uh, leadership of uh, His Excellency uh, Ramzan Kadyrov, the President of the Chechen Republic, and uh, also the close uh, uh, monitoring, I will say, of uh, the uh, president or the chairman of the board of directors and all uh, the um, senior management of uh, Zaid Fund. I think uh, since, uh, I will say, six months, we are starting to see results. Uh, results are existing businesses, are success stories. And I think uh, through what is being featured actually in the social media and also even in the streets in Grozny, you will see uh, that a uh, couple of projects uh, increasing day after day are showing uh, what we call success. But we leave the qualification of success or not to others to judge uh, what Zaid Fund is doing. Actually, we've been communicating with uh, colleagues from Sheikh Zaid Fund for, quite, for a while, maybe for one year or more. And I, could, I would say that it is very, they are very professional even compared to international companies. They are uh, not uh, like living, living behind. They're very professional, which is uh, very, very good to see in Chechen Republic. And uh, uh, my next question is, uh, you uh, came to Russia, to, to, to the Chechen Republic, with, uh, to invest small and medium companies. Uh, at the same time, we know that many companies from the UAE, like Mobadala or other funds, they come to invest in big business. So uh, why did you choose to invest in small business? OK, just a small correction, maybe. We are not investing in small business, we are investing in humans. We are investing in young Chechen people. And this is exactly maybe not the difference because everybody is doing something that he knows to do. So Mubadala or Tawazan or other big, big uh, I would say multinational now, their business is to generate business through investing in big businesses all over the world. Khalifa Fund for Enterprise Development invests in humans. So it is by definition a non-profit organization. And the idea when it started uh, between His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and His Excellency the President of the Chechen Republic, the idea was we are not bringing or injecting money to generate profit. We are injecting money to invest on young che che Chechen people, to train them, to coach them, let them start the business, let them fail. And this is the only way that we can move from just uh, 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 a non-moving economy or uh, an oil-based economy to a knowledge-based economy and uh, to an, an entrepreneurship culture in general. And uh, what is the different, uh, difference in mentality of young people here in Chechnya in whom you invest and, say, in UAE? Yeah, there is, um, there is uh, I will say, visible and tangible difference. Um, due to the economic situation of both countries. Because uh, until, I would say, five to 10 years ago, 
talking about entrepreneurship in the United Arab Emirates was something new because the, the country was based on the public sector. It is an oil-based uh, economy. So uh, feeling the need to, to, to go into the private sector and start a, a new private business was not that much attractive. Uh, and the culture was not helping, so it was not well appreciated having his uh, uh, own business. Although, historically, UAE is a hub of trade, you know, Dubai was always a hub of trade, even a couple of, uh, uh, couple of centuries ago. Chechen Republic, when we came here, it's another mental. That's why today I have the chance to speak uh, during uh, a panel uh, dealing with entrepreneurship and innovation. I said what we did in 12, 13 years, and we, we did it here in two years. Because I think the passion is here, the, 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 the ability is here, the, the talents are here. All what you need is put this together. This is what usually the, the, the professionals uh, uh, call the ecosystem. The ecosystem means that this interlinkage between all parties uh, interfering in the sphere of entrepreneurship. So just to make it short, uh, there are differences because of the situation and history of the country, but also there is common points, is this willingness to do and to go towards uh, uh, making something for self and for the country. Mm, that's great to hear that. And you mentioned uh, during the plenary, uh, plenary session that uh, it was a hard work to establish fund here in Chechnya. Uh, what were the difficulties? What were the problems? The first problem was, uh, was the language. Was the language it was not easy to start communicating because I mean we started from scratch and from scratch means uh, means from scratch means finding the uh, offices means finding the employees means training the employees means uh, drafting the processes and procedures means preparing the training curriculum all this we did it. Uh, in a kind of unbelievable short time, I think between we started and the inauguration, it was uh, uh, less than three quarter of the year. I think it was eight months. Uh, eight months getting licensing, getting the approvals from uh, uh, the capital in Moscow, uh, training people, bringing them to the UAE, coming here, uh, uh, putting all forms, processes. It was extremely challenging. Challenging, it's not, this is what we know how to do it. But challenging also because the, the leadership pressure, uh, His Excellency and His Highness were following up in kind of very periodic way so that you have to make it now, you have to make it now, you have to make it now. And uh, alhamdulillah, I would say we made it Alhamdulillah. Together. And this is your first time you work in, in other country? So, uh, uh, it is a funny story because Khalifa Fund for Enterprise Development is a local entity working in the UAE for the UAE nationals. The story started uh, in 2015, where uh, we have been uh, instructed by His Highness the Crown Prince, uh, so direct instruction to support a microfinance program in the Republic of Egypt. And alhamdulillah, it's working until now well, and this is our fourth year where we managed to fund around 200,000 uh, projects. The comprehensive and most, I will say, comprehensive and complicated example was Zaid Fund, because it was a fund, it was not a program. Uh, it is uh, supposed to really take over for the coming, uh, inshallah, long years. Um, it was a challenge that opened doors because after the success of the establishment of the fund, we have been also instructed to start other experience and now we are covering uh, exactly 20 countries. 20 countries, the majority of them, I think 15, are in uh, uh, the African uh, continent where we are providing different programs from setting up an entire fund to just uh, collaborating with the counterpart to, to manage fund for small, medium or uh, uh, micro enterprises. And may I ask a question about Islamic finance? You are, I mean, Zaid Fund here is one of the few companies which invest according to Sharia 
into the into businesses. And uh, I think it is the only company which uses Musharaka agreement to finance directly. But at the same time, you use uh, traditional, like uh, conventional finance, uh, interest-based loans. Uh, but we know that Chechen Republic is almost uh, over 90% Muslim Republic. Why do you leave conventional finance here? Uh, See, the idea when we established and we developed the business plan to establish Zaid Fund, uh, we, we did not found any benchmarking, so we were not able to measure what to do. So the idea was, let's start, let's put all options, then let's see who, who is more attractive. So in the end, if you are telling me, and maybe you are confirming now that 99% or 90% are for the Sharia compliance product, will go for Sharia compliance. But you will find others also, this 2, 5, 10% uh, who, who, who are ready to, to go into the uh, conventional uh, um, financial product. So that's why, and as it was discussed in the level of board of directors, to leave it for now as is, but if a decision comes to shift entirely to the Islamic product will do it. If the idea to leave it uh, open, will, will, so the market will lead our decision. And uh, do you have any plans to move beyond Chechen Republic, like to the neighboring republics like Dagestan or maybe even to Moscow? Do you want to expand in Russia? Maybe not in the near future, but in, in later future. In later so years. as I already mentioned, what we are doing now is not the main function of Khalifa Fund. We are we are interfering in the United Arab Emirates for the citizens of uh, citizens of the United Arab Emirates. What we are doing here is following special instruction from His Highness. So it is not within our strategy to begin to start the year saying this year we are going towards X or Y country. Uh, by the way, in the, in, the, in the region, we are actually present in the uh, Chechen Republic through Zaid Fund, but also in the Republic of Belarus uh, through a program to support innovation, uh, mainly innovation in the small and medium enterprises in collaboration with uh, uh, the Development Bank of uh, Belarus. So uh, hopefully, inshallah, uh, any time the instruction will come and there is a special attention from His Highness and I'll say the government of the United Arab Emirates to the region in, uh, in general. It is, the idea is not to export a model, is to share knowledge and to help our brothers and sisters. And are you ready to, uh, are you ready to invest in companies who are producing uh, food for further export to UAE? And do you have such examples? I mean, uh, the, the, the talking promising about company. what's happening here in yeah, Zaid Fund. Yeah, yeah. No, Zaid Fund is open for any small and medium enterprises in uh, without labeling export. Anyway, the export itself is is just a normal growth of any company that is uh, able to satisfy the. Um, the uh, local market to go to the external market. But just to add to your uh, uh, very good uh, command here, uh, we are conducting a delegation in the agriculture and agribusiness sector, actually. Uh, I mean, tomorrow they will start uh, directly after this uh, panel. And the idea is to link the agriculture, uh, 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 I mean, the, the two sectors in both countries and try to find this way of exporting mainly the um, agriculture product from the Chechen Republic to the United Arab Emirates. So we can say that uh, probably in the future we can see, well, through the work of the Zayed Fund, the Chechen products uh, in the uh, UAE. So I will not say this is our dream, this is our aim. This is our aim because, and this is applicable not only for the Czech Republic, but also for the United Arab Emirates. The market is extremely small, and if you do not extend, you will die. You will have giants who will occupy this market. What if a company from uh, outside Czech Republic wants uh, to work with the Zaid Fund? Is there any opportunity? I mean, from Russia, but not resident of Czech Republic. Uh, if I understand well, uh, you're, uh, it's, it's another entity establishing here? Or? In Russia, but not in Chechnya. Uh, they would like to benefit from the funding of Zaid Fund, for example. No, by law it is for Chechen uh, citizens living in the uh, Chechen Republic. This is the idea. 
uh, Mr. Nazar, I would like to thank you for this wonderful opportunity for the short but very ins uh, insightful interview and would like to wish the Zaid Fund and Khalifa Fund success in the future and uh, I wish that your investment in humor will bring success to the society in, here in Chechnya and uh, in UAE and all the countries you are working in. Thank you uh, for inviting me with uh, such talented people. Uh, with uh, such enthusiasm and talents, I'm sure uh, you will make it and we will make it together, inshallah. Thank you.